Dr. Chen has done more than 130 deep brain surgeries on Parkinson's patients. I want to meet him to find out what he knows about the brain's ability to repair itself using electrical stimulation. You've obviously had a lot of experience with using deep brain stimulation in Parkinson's, but I understand right around the world, uh, many doctors in Europe and the US are doing clinical trials um, in such areas as depression. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Because of the success uh, in uh, uh, using DBS to treat Parkinson's disease, uh, now uh, researchers and uh, scientists, uh, they are using the deep DBS uh, technology to explore the brain structures. Uh, in the old days, they are using the electric shock device and they can bring a lot of damage to the brain. Uh, a one millimeter diameter probe uh, into the brain structures, uh, we can uh, uh, have a you know, limited destruction to the brain and, uh, and the stimulation is reversible. During deep brain stimulation, Dr. Chen enters the brain through two holes in the skull and threads an electrode in the white matter. This surgery was only used for Parkinson's disease. But for depression, surgeons in the United States and Europe are currently testing the effects of placing the probes two centimeters deeper to a part of the brain called Area 25. Once the electrode is in place, Electrical impulses are sent to the specific tissue targets to test its effects. The goal, to stimulate the circuit that is damaged. In Parkinson's patients, it instantly removes tremors. In depression patients in the US and Europe, the results have been transformative. When the stimulation turns on, the patient may, may be laughed. You just, just, just laugh, and when you ask the patient why you laugh, you say, no, I, I just want to laugh, and, and that's the stimulation effect. How do 